Welcome back to the second part of this blackjack tutorial. In the first part, we built out the logic that pertains to the dealer. If you haven't had an opportunity to watch the first part, I highly recommend going back and doing so, as we use a lot of the code that we use in the first part in this part. So just a quick overview, we randomly selected two cards for the dealer, then we used if statements to check if they were face cards or number cards. And if they were face cards, they received a value of 10. If they were number cards, they retained that value. Then we took a total of the first and second card. If the total was less than 17 for the dealer, they had to select a third card. And then we retook that total using the value of the third card as well. Now we're ready to build out the coding as it pertains to the player. So I'm going to copy some code I already have as I don't want to waste time. Uh, so basically we're selecting two cards. So all of this code is going to pertain to the player as I said. So we're selecting two cards at random. Then we're going to have program print those two cards out for us so we can see what they are. Then we use if statements like before to check if they're face cards or number cards. And if they're face cards they get a value of 10. If they're number cards then they retain the value of that number. Then we take a total of the first and second card. Something I forgot to add here is a empty list, which we will append all of the cards that we get. So here we're appending the first card and second card to that list. So something that's different between the dealer and the player is, is, is that the player has the ability to get as many cards as they want. And basically that means that in terms of programming, that means there's no way for us to say do this X amount of times. And since that's the case, we're going to be using a while loop because a while loop basically runs until a certain condition is met. And if that condition isn't met, it's going to keep on running. And that's kind of what we want to do. Um, basically, we're going to keep asking the player, would they like to pick a additional card? If they say yes, then we're going to keep on giving them a card and asking them would they like another card. And obviously, I mean, it's not going to go on forever because, you know, once they hit 21, they're not going to want to get any more cards. But in terms of uh, coding logic, the while loop is going to keep on running until we tell it to stop. So while true, we're going to ask uh, for input from the user, so we'll do choice one equals input and we will ask would you like to draw another card and this is going to be a yes or no statement so we will convert this to upper because we can standardize it that way and we don't have to worry about people typing in things differently so we got that so now it's going to ask the player would they like a additional card and they have two options. It can be yes or no. So let's first work on if they say yes. So if choice one is equal to yes, then they will get a new card. So your new card is equal to, and this is the same stuff we've done before, random.choice with cards. Now we have a additional card. So now we have to do this calculation again using the if statements. So I'm going to just copy and paste this and put it in as we've already done it a couple times so we should be comfortable with what's coming out. And then we are going to take a total. So your total, your total is equal to your total, I can't type total plus your new card val, which is what we defined there, your new card val. Then we want to append to our list that we have, your card.append, and we will append this new card that we received. So, so now if it runs once, we'll have our first two cards and this third additional card. But as I said, this can go on as long as you want, so it's gonna keep on appending to it. 
And something that I think would make sense is if we wrote some sort of statement that told the player what card they received, because they wouldn't know. So your new card is brackets, and in that we will add the new card and running total with brackets, so dot format. And we will add in your new card here, as that's that variable, and the running total is your total. And then we will print this to the screen so we can see it. So that should take care of if a player says yes, that we, they're going to get one additional card. We're going to convert that card to the correct value. And then we're going to take that total of what the running total is. We're going to print out what that new card was and running total. Your new card is that and running total is that. And then we will append that new card to that list that houses all of the cards that the player has received. So that should work for that portion. Now we would like to build out if somebody says no. So in terms of the answer to this question, it can either be yes or no. Since we already defined what it would be if they said yes, now we're going to use a, rather than doing if choice one is equal to no, we're just going to use else because if it's not yes, there than any other condition it can be. So in the else statement, it's going to basically house all of the rules of your game. So basically we're going to take totals and compare them to each other to see whether the player won or the dealer won. And we're going to do that using if statements. So if your total is greater than 21, then you want to print you busted. And that means you lose. And another condition would be if your total, uh, let's do if dealer total is greater than 21 and your total is less than 21, then print you win. And we're going to build out all of the scenarios that there can be. I think there's a couple more. So if dealer total is less than 21 and your total is less than 21 and dealer total is equal to your total then we will print you tied let me just copy this statement because we'll be doing two more i believe as that should account for all the scenarios we have if dealer total is less than 21, and let's say that the dealer had the dealer's value was larger than yours, then that means you lose. And let's do if your value was larger than the leader, than the dealer, then you win. I think these would be all the scenarios. So if you're more than 21, you bust. If the dealer's more, then you win and you're equal. Yep, that should account for all of the scenarios. So in terms of the logic of this code, it's going to come down to this while loop and it's going to keep on running. It's going to come in and ask the player, would you like to pick a additional card? And if they say yes, they're going to get this new card and they're going to get this new total because we're going to add that new card to this total. And then it's going to go back up because it's because it's in a loop and it's going to ask again would you like to draw another card and if they say no this time then it's going to skip this loop and it's going to come down to the else statement where it's going to do all of these comparisons to check to see who wins and a couple things we still want to do uh, one thing i think that would be good is if they if the player says yes and their total is greater than 21 and their total is less than 21 because if it's greater than 21 we don't want to waste time with just giving cards to them because it's not gonna it's not gonna be conducive to anything so we want to print out a couple more statements uh, that would help because right now while we're in the while loop 
when we run this program, it's only going to say you busted, you win, or you tied. We don't know the other cards that, the, that were given to the dealer because we've only seen the first card that was basically received by the dealer. So I'm going to make a statement of sent you is equal to, and this, is, and this variable is going to be a statement that has uh, what cards the player received. So you had the following cards bracket sign and a total of bracket sign with format and we will use our list which we've been appending cards to and the total that we received then we're going to do something similar for the dealer dealer had the following cards and a total of, and we will use the format and the computer. This was the list that we defined in the last video for the dealer, it was right there. And we will give the dealer total. So when we come down here in our else block, once it hits one of these if statements, then we're going to add it right down here. So we will print what we had, and we will print what the dealer had. So we'll be able to see what each of us had. So right now, if we would run this program, it's going to, sh it's going to run, but it's never going to end because we have this while loop. There's no condition in here telling the while loop to stop running. And as I had said before, the while loop runs as a infinite loop. So we have to tell it when 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 basically we when basically we want it to stop running. So in this case, logically it makes sense to put it somewhere down here. Because up here, if somebody says yes, they're still asking for more cards. So we don't want the loop to end. We want the loop to end after we've decided who's won the game and then to get ready for the next game. So I'm going to put a break statement in here. And what this basically does uh, is, is that it tells the loop that it's reached this point and you can stop running. So basically the program will end at that point and we will leave that continuous while loop. And something to keep in mind is you have to understand where to indent these. If I had indented this somewhere inside, it may not hit. So you got to make sure that your indentations, especially when you're programming with Python, it's very important. You know, Python doesn't have many rules, but that's one of the rules to keep in mind. So for this one, we want to make sure that it's, it's in line with where the if statement started. So with that said, let's run our program. Hopefully we don't get too many errors. Oh, we did. So unexpected indent. Let's see, uh, line 89, if you're a new card, so, oh, I accidentally pressed in a little bit, I think that's why. Let's try it again. All right, dealer's first card is 10, your cards are 8 and 4. Would you like to draw another card? I will say yes. Your new card is an 8. All right, we're up to 20. I will say no. Oh, we tied. So. You can play around with this and hopefully you found this video helpful and if you did please feel free to subscribe and hit the like button. Um, I'll be putting out more more videos on various topics that would help you know beginners uh, you know people who are starting out their Python journey. If you have any um, requests meaning certain topics that you would like me to cover I can you know please leave those in the comments and until then, keep on coding and I'll talk to you guys later.